Great. Yeah, so we're going to start it on that. 10,000 cells, hopefully it'll be enough. Yeah. Labs like this one at Stanford University can't get government funding for embryonic stem cell research. While institutions wait for a decision on federal funding, embryonic stem cell research is being financed primarily through small nonprofit entities and corporate donors like Geron Corporation. The financing is ad hoc. Universities are investing some resources in this research, but as soon as there's the potential for intellectual property, the research moves off campus and frequently into small business that are supported by venture capital on a short-term basis. It may only be a modest business proposition, but embryonic stem cell research is considered vital by many in the scientific community in the search for a cure for a number of debilitating diseases. Embryonic stem cells are cells which have not yet committed themselves to make one or another tissue type. Professor Irvin Weissman carries out research using adult stem cells at several companies he's helped to set up, like Stem Cells Incorporated. Weissman also supports the work that's being done with embryonic stem cells. They have the potential in the test tube to turn into cells that would have been cells included in the heart, would have been cells included in the blood, would have been cells included in the brain, and so on. Weissman says these embryonic stem cells are like a blank page. They can turn into a number of different tissue types, unlike adult stem cells, which appear to be restricted to replicating themselves. From the late fetal phase on and into adulthood, you can find in the tissues, especially in the bone marrow and the brain, that's where it's been found clearly, stem cells that seem to be totally restricted to make that tissue. The value of that tissue, whether it comes from adult or embryonic stem cells, is that it can be used to replace diseased cells in the body. So far, only a handful of companies led by Geron Corporation and Advanced Cell Technology are working in the area of embryonic stem cell research. Embryo is not a happy buzzword on Wall Street. Uh, anyone who hears that a company is thinking about working in embryo research uh, will run away in the world of institutional investing because the political issues are just and obviously far, far too complex and far too charged. Ironically, institutional investors are proving reluctant to back the companies that one day may be very profitable. If at some point in the future stem cells take off, these companies with their patents and important intellectual property holdings will overnight be worth billions of dollars. And as some of their most successful drug patents come to a close, big pharmaceutical groups are watching these stem cell companies closely for possible acquisitions. Ken Pritchett reporting for Tech TV News.